Complements are used in digital computers for simplifying the subtraction operation and for logical manipulation. This is one of the ways of representing any number to its opposite signed numbers. Well, there is another method of representing signed numbers which I am going to describe later. But complements are commonly used for performing subtraction operation easily in digital logic system. First of all, let's see how to figure out the complements of any number systems. There are two types of complements for each base R system. The radix complement, first of all, radix complement, which is also known as R's complement. And the another type is diminished radix complement which is commonly known as r minus 1 complement here r denotes the base of any number system suppose a given number n this is the number n in base r system base r system having n digits n number of digits for this case the r minus ones r minus ones complement can be found out using this formula r to the power n minus 1 minus n and the r's complement can be found out using this formula r to the power n minus n so these are the two formulas for finding any complements number. We have two types of complement, R minus 1's complement, which is named as diminished radix complement, and R's complement, which is also named as radix complement. And these are the formulas for finding R's complement and R minus 1's complement. If we are using decimal system, then for that case, there will be two types of complement. One is tens complement, another will be 10 minus 1 that means nice complement if we are using binary system then there will be two types of complement one is two's complement another will be two minus one one's complement so using this generalized formula we'll be able to find the complements of any number in any number system let's see some examples for finding complements in different number system suppose we want to find r minus ones and r's complement for this number two three six four this is the decimal number we need to find tens complement and nines complement why am i writing tens and nines complement because the base is 10 r's complement means number of base is 10 so 10's complement r minus 1's complement means 10 minus 1 that is 9 complement for 10's complement the equation is like this r to the power n minus n here the value of big n that is the number number n equal to 2 3 6 4 and that is in decimal and n digits how many digits are there here one two three four four digits are there so the value of a small n equal to four so we can write tens complement of n is equal to 10 to the power 4 minus 2 3 6 4 that will give us 0 0 0 0 4 zeros minus two three six four all these are in 10 base system so i'm getting 10 here which will return a value seven six three six and this is the tens complement of this number two three six four now let's solve for the nines complement here again n equal to 2 3 6 4 10 base system and small n equal to 4 
so you can write nines complement of n is equal to we need to use this equation 10 to the power 4 minus 1 minus 2 3 6 4 all these are in 10 base system equal to which will return us 7 6 3 5 so nice complement of 2 3 6 4 is 7 6 3 5 let's see another example using octal system suppose we want to find the r's complement and r minus 1's complement for an octal number that has value 4 3 6 7 this is an octal number for this case we need to find question number one its complement and 8 minus 1 that means 7's complement of this number if we start answering for the first question the value of its complement is here the value of big n is 4367 which is in octal and the value of small n is 1234 again it's 4 to find the its complement the equation is this r to the power n minus big n here the base is 8 and 8 to the power 4 minus 4 3 6 7 here this number is in 8 base system remember whenever you are calculating 8 to the power 4 you are doing it in decimal system so the value you are getting that must be converted to octal system in order to have this subtraction operation be careful about that so the value in decimal is 4096 in decimal and here we have 4367 that is in octal now let's go to the next page now we need to convert this number to octal or what we can do we need to convert this number to decimal then perform the subtraction operation then again convert the result in octal you will get the eighth complement of this number so let's follow one of the methods we are keeping 4096 as it is in decimal minus if we convert this 4367 from octal to decimal you can use calculator for this conversion you will get 2295 that is in decimal if you perform the subtraction operation you will get 1801 in decimal now the result must be in octal as the number given here is in octal so the complement of this number must be expressed in octal if you convert this number to octal you will get 3411 this is in octal and this is the eighth complement of this 4367 octal number this is the result now let's solve the second part that is number two the seventh complement of this number we have four three six seven in octal in order to get the seventh complement we need to use this equation eight to the power four minus one minus four three six seven this is in octal but these are in decimal the value of eight to the power four is four zero nine six in decimal minus 1 in decimal minus 4 3 6 7 in octal now in this case if you subtract 1 from 4096 as both are in decimal you can do it you'll get 4095 in decimal minus 4 3 6 7 in octal let's convert this to octal you'll get seven 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 that is in octal minus four three six seven that is in also octal you can use calculator for performing this subtraction operation remember before performing this subtraction operation your calculator must be set to octal mode hence you'll get equal to three four one 
0 that is the seventh complement of this number so this is eighth complement and this is the seventh complement of this number let's see another example using binary system suppose you are given a number that is a binary number 1101011 this is a binary number we need to find number 1 2's complement and number 2 1's complement here the base is 2 so R's complement means 2's complement R minus 1's complement means 2 minus 1's complement that is 1's complement let's solve the first one in order to get 2's complement we need to use this equation R to the power n minus big N what is the value of r here base is 2 so we can write 2 to the power what is the value of small n we need to count the number of digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it's 8 minus 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 this is in binary and this is in decimal the value of 2 to the power 8 in decimal is 256 and let's convert this binary to decimal you may use calculator for this purpose you will get 219 if you perform this subtraction operation you'll get 37 in decimal if you convert this number to binary you will get 100101 in binary so this number is the two's complement of this binary number now let's solve the second part in similar fashion for solving second part we need to use this equation r to the power n minus 1 minus n here 2 to the power 8 which is in decimal minus 1 in decimal and minus the value of big n is this number 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 if you perform this calculation i am not showing it in detail you'll get the value in binary is 1 0 0 1 0 0 so this is the ones complement value of this binary number now if you observe the result when we are getting the r's complement r minus 1's complement can be found out by subtracting 1 from the r's complement value for example for this example we got 3411 as 8's complement of this number if we subtract 1 from this number we will get 3410 and that is the r minus 1's complement of the same number actually it is found from the equation we have one subtraction which is not available in this equation or in another way if we know the value of r minus 1's complement then to get r's complement what we need to do we need to add 1 and we'll get the r's complement for this example as well if we know the value of r minus 1's complement if you add 1 with r minus 1's complement you'll get the r's complement till now we have learned the method of finding the complements using classical method now let me show you an easier method to find complements suppose you are given a decimal number 9467 a decimal number in order to get the ninth complement and tenth complement of this number what you can do first you can find the ninth complement of this number how for each digit you subtract the value from 9 for example here 9 minus 9 will give you 0 9 minus 4 will give you 5 9 minus 6 will give you 3 9 minus 7 will give you 2 so this is the ninth complement of this number this is ninth complement once you get r minus 1's complement which means ninth complement for this 10 base system case you add 1 to get 
tens complement after adding one with this number the number will become 533 this is in base 10 system and that will be the tens complement of this number this is valid for all number system if we see another example suppose we need to get the r's complement and r minus one's complement of this octal number so this is the octal number first we'll figure out the value of seven's complement that means r minus one's complement as we have eight here so eight minus one is seven subtract each digit from seven seven minus four will return you three 7 minus 3 will return you 4. 7 minus 6 will return you 1. 7 minus 7 will return you 0. This is the 7th complement of this number. Again, if you want to find the 8th complement, what you need to do? You need to add 1 with this number. You'll get 3, 4, 1, 1 in octal system, which is 8th complement. Of this number you can do the same for hexadecimal number and binary number as well let's see another example using binary number suppose we have a binary number this is a binary number what is the ones complement of this number so subtract 2 minus 1 that means 1 1 1 1 1 1 from each digit so 1 minus 1 will return us 0 1 minus 1 will return us 0 1 minus 0 will return us 1 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 0 it's 1 so this is the ones complement if you want to get two's complement what you need to do you need to add one with this number so after adding one with this number you'll get one zero one zero which is the two's complement of that number two's complement of this number for binary number system what you can do you can just simply convert every one to zero and every zero to one and in this way you will get the ones complement for example a binary number one zero one one zero one this is a binary one what is the ones complement for this binary number what you can do just make all one zero and all zeros one so if you make this one to zero this zero to one zero zero one zero simply this is the ones complement of this number ones complement and if you add one with this number you'll get the two's complement one zero zero one one this is the two's complement of this number i think finding complements have become very easy for all of us we will be using these complements for performing subtraction operations which will be shown in the next lecture thank you